This is the Singer 1588 that I have been using, and I still have the automatic um, adjustable zigzagger on the, on the machine. Now, um, I realized uh, today when I panicked a little bit that the, my Spartan um, would be much easier to carry if I have to carry a machine. Um, the 1588 is a full-size Singer treadle head that can also be used as a hand crank and you can also mount a motor to it if you're so inclined to use electrics. Um, I had purchased a new motor and I put it on my Spartan. Now the Spartan is also by Singer. Um, it's a 192 and model 192. Mine is, was made in um, Clyde's Bank, Scotland so it's a 192k and um, they were marketed basically for college students or similar setups where y you didn't want any attachments or anything like that just a very simple sewing machine and I believe they used to sell for about a hundred dollars they didn't come with a case they come with a, a plastic base and they had a motor on them and the motor on mine when I bought it um, was shot so I took the motor off and I've used it both as a hand crank and as a um, with with the new replacement motor so now today I'm thinking um, I may have to actually drag the Spartan around or the model 20 I'm 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 kind of weighing my options again and um, Anyway, I have just put the replacement motor on the 1588, and I thought I'd show you the difference between the zigzagger when it's um, motorized and when it was a hand crank was in my video on the jacket for a bitty baby doll. Um, now, I have to plug it in. And uh, I may not be doing any more treadling therapy videos, just in case anybody was watching them. Um, today I did one, um, one session with my new sneakers, and I said my foot didn't hurt, and it should. Well, it, it was the sneakers were supporting my ankle differently, and as soon as I took them off, I, I have to put my cast back on my, my left leg. I have an air cast. So, um, I have to play that by ear and see how I do day to day. Um, so this, if I have a motor on this, I probably won't be using it very much because of the whole foot pedal issue and my ankles and the problem I'm having. Now let me just plug this in. Now this plug doesn't have a bladed um, plug where one um, prong is wider than the other, but just then when I went to plug it in, it, it stays in better if you put it one way rather than the other. So here is the new replacement motor, and you can find the information about the motor on my video about putting it on the Spartan. But this is the 1588. If you find an old treadle head and decide you want it to be electric, um, the motor goes for about $25, I think I paid. Now you saw me, um, perhaps in my other video, making that Bitty Baby jacket and how I had to manipulate the fabric. Um, I still had that on 30 stitches an inch and was zigzagging at that rate. So let me change the stitch length a little bit. But a whole different story from zigzagging with a hand crank. Thank you. 
Now, if I don't manipulate the fabric or do this, I'm going to get a big pucker in there, and that would matter if I were making a dress or something. Now, I've found with this motor, um, it will... The belt will slip before it pushes the needle to do something. So because of the way I had stopped and started, I got a loose thread underneath and the motor will slip instead of um, forcing the thread. Now you can see that you need, this is why I said it's uh, good to start out with a hand crank. Because if I tried to do that on the ribbon neck of the jacket for the bitty baby, I would have been going way too fast to have real control over it. Now the fabric puckered um, right here and up this way and around and down here. This right here is a zigzag at 30 stitches per inch with the 1588 electric. This wider one was with the hand crank and this was with the hand crank. So you can see it's a real difference in um, in the speed, I mean, is the best way to say it. Um, now the foot pedal on this motor is not all that responsive. It tends to go on and off. So it's more difficult to go slow. So again, depending on what your preference is, whether it's um, you like hand cranks or whether you would want to find an old um, treadle head like this and put a motor on it, if you go with the motorized version and put a new replacement motor on there, um, as you break in the foot pedal, you'll be building up your skills with your own control over the foot pedal instead of over the controlling of a hand crank. So those are the two different um, methods really of using a zigzagger on a really old uh, treadle head. One with motorized as this is or in a video on the Bitty Baby jacket um, with a, the hand crank and how it works. I prefer the hand crank. Now, I hadn't wanted to use the Spartan for one reason. I have all the attachments and the long circular stitcher that I have doesn't fit on the Spartan because it's the same size as a 99 and the bed is too short for the stitcher frame to fit on. So um, I'm going to probably lose the use of that stitcher unless I make I, I might be able to adjust it. I can't make 10 inch circles on it. I can't have the frame all the way, or maybe it's the four inch circles. I can't have the frame go all the way to the right because it hits the pillar. Um, so that was one reason I didn't want to use the Spartan. But the um, I can use all the other attachments on the Spartan. And one of the quilts I have to do, I need a zigzagger. And I can do that easily on the Spartan. So again, um, finding an old treadle head doesn't mean you have to have a treadle or that you have to find a hand crank set up. There are the replacement motors um, which make it very easy to use an old sturdy machine instead of a modern electric. 
um, you would have to start collecting all the different attachments for the singers. Um, low shank vintage attachments are fun, fun, fun to collect.